ready to da. Look what I'm doing with my wrist. Chi da da. You know, you just want to sculpt it a little bit. So you want to get a little bit in the keys, right? What's the important notes? It's the the. It, be, the it would be going off. actually be going to the C. That's right. And then, and then this. tell me. And then. Right. That's a, you. You're right. You you skipped over the notes where we don't hear smacking down. Mm -hmm. That's a, you you have to elude certain notes to make it beautiful, right? That's okay. a great idea. Elude certain notes. That means go around. Okay. Let's do that and get a little deeper in the keys because after all. It's the very first statement of the theme, and we don't want it to be so whispered that nobody knows what's going to happen, right? Okay. So let's do it again together. So, we Oh, this last. Yeah, this is Pagiatura, right? You know, from Bis, is that Pagiatura? Yeah. Lean, lean and less. Lean and less. Right. So, ta da yeah, that's a little bit of a lean. If I had more air, I would give a little bit more air to the 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 tiada. If I don't sing it, but I just go tiada, it would be tiada. I'm just saying without pitch. Tiada, tiada, rest. Because Mozart is such a singable composer. You know, he's a singing. Be careful, so float. Exactly. Okay, now you did, so now what you want to do is, I want you to do this. Here's what I want you to do though. I want you to block the left hand for three counts while you play it with the right. In other words, you're just blocking out each measure as okay. you're playing, accompanying yourself. Okay. Try that. singer to do it but you don't want to be breaking up that phrase you want to just let it float right across okay same with the left hand is floating you're not like making gasps right there's no gasping on that phrase <laughs> what you do with it is you you make it lilting you're lilting it right like a lilting three it's just very beautiful lines from one hand to the other right so, okay. so let's learn the right hand separately on that second phrase okay there you go and you know what that is what is that that's an inversion of the beginning oh yeah that's very interesting isn't it upside down Very, very measured. Right. Oh, and measured. Well, oh. measured. You know, schmuck. In other words, one, two, three, one. Three. Let's say you just did it straight. You would go one, two, three, dum, da, da, da. Um, See? Yes, so then the trill isn't going to change the what? The meter. It's going to be da, 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 da. two is nice. If you can get the two and the two pair. One, two, Against that, you have the echo of the beginning in the left hand. That's a beautiful line because what comes out is that raised C, right? That with the dot. Beautiful. I think you want, yeah, you were very right because you know, remember this leading tone? Mm -hmm. You're right to dip it. And then you can get more in the keys after that, I think. Open up there, right? Okay, open up. That's 
Yeah, because there's a little crescendo there. Undoubtedly, oh, yeah, swell is a good word. slur makes sense. T dom. I put a slur there. Okay, and then slur. the other I broke. Yeah, I think she needs to come out a little bit more. Ta -da. too soft and we don't get that sudden that soft level okay. you, get, you can do lean less but do it in a larger on a higher left plane so now see what I mean otherwise you don't get that gorgeous contrast of that second theme you sneak in on it arrival little because you have repeated notes mm -hmm. to get you know, do them all the same but you have to lift the second beats whenever you get to the second beat don't let it fall oh down God, there's so many things to remember because you see that the second line yeah because you see that because -da -da, if you sang it you would you would go -da -da, light, -da -da, light wouldn't you -da -da, -da -da, light right -da -da, -da -da, -da, less -da -da, less wouldn't you too loud, then it anticlimaxes that strum and drawn section that's coming. The D minor, going to the minor too. Yeah, I think something of that rhythm too. And that rhythm is very, mm -hmm. what, different than we heard from the whole first theme. Yes. It's the rhythm makes the theme different. So, be really sure of the rhythm. One, two, three, four, one, right? One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, really precision. One, two, three, four. Five. Absolutely. Now you got it. Boom, up, up, right here. Da da -li da da, light. Da da -li da da, light. And we know lean less, lean less, least lean less. And then, bottom. And by the way, that goes in the opposite direction been falling down, now he's coming it's from coming below, up. going up. Then. Yeah, and really roll it. I'm going to do it up here so I don't hurt myself. There's no staccato until you get to that last A. And that's a little bit shorter, yeah. 
form? Is it the harmonic form? Is it the melodic? Remember, it's coming down. It doesn't matter. It is the uh, harmonic. Yes, indeed. So he's coming down in the harmonic from note number uh, six. That's number six of the scale, right? Mm -hmm. This is six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three. You know, it'll be la, sol, fa, me, re, do, ti. I always like to use solfege. Okay. And that under it is a diminished. It's a diminished. Isn't that a diminished? But he does two times diminished, right? Okay. Two measures. Diminished. Yeah, now be careful that you don't hold that down because he wants it just. Yeah. That's oh, what I doing. see. Yeah. And two. Can you make it legato? Can you make it legato? You can go right into legato. And what you want out of those um, descending scales is that they have some traction. Okay. Right, if I sang it, what would I go? Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Yes. The only way I'd do that on the piano, if I had a piano that wasn't killing my hands right now because my wrists are hurting, is I would do dead weight. Like I'd go like I was going across the notes like this. Look, mm -hmm. instead of articulating them so much, I would just drag them across, like you do with your scales, right? Okay. And we're going to go slower. Okay. One and two, little, little, little. Da, and two. What is he doing now? He's just doing a sequence down the step. Down That's down. right. That's right. Which is very poignant. Now that was what we, he went. He got us to C minor, did he not? It is C minor. Yeah, right here it was D minor. Now let's listen. So harmonically, you want to know. First he did this, and he went down to C minor. Now he stays in C minor, by the way, mm -hmm. and he goes to the sixth chord of C minor, which is A flat. See that in measure thirty-three. That's so beautiful because whenever you use a substitute chord, which is a sixth chord for the one, it's very beautiful. Whenever you go one to six, listen. It's very pretty. So, but it's mostly more poignant when you go from a dominant to a sixth chord. Then you get the what? The so dominant. The dominant to, dominant a, sixth to a sixth chord, right? Let's say we're in D minor. We go. What? Which is the dominant of D minor? Yes, it's A, a C sharp, E. G. I'm playing dominant seven. Now listen to God, what it does if you go to the sixth. Listen. That's, that's called a septif cadence. 